This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Tim McCann back with me. Thank you very much for joining us. You're the Senior Public Health Inspector for uh, Leeds, Grenville and Landark Health Unit. We are going to talk about the warmer summer weather that's coming upon us. Now it seems like we're in Canada, so yeah. a light switch, it could be hot as anything one day and then cool the next, but yeah. uh, we have been experiencing some hotter than usual yeah 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 kind of we had like that little hot spell in april and then we've had one in may and you know we're we are getting into summer so we can anticipate some some intense heat coming and we need to take care of ourselves we do for sure yeah, for, sure. for sure so while many welcome the warmer weather uh the health unit has some reminders during this time yeah the, the you know it is nice to have the warmer weathers but when it gets really really hot um, you do have to be careful because high temperatures can affect our health and we can easily become overheated, which can cause dehydration, can cause heat illness, and in some cases can even cause death. So, you know, we do need to take care that uh, so that we can prevent those types of things. So, you know, you want to try to avoid that intense heat as much as possible and stay cool. So when should somebody seek medical attention and what symptoms should we be watching for? Yeah, so if you've been out in the heat and you're feeling nauseous or dizzy or if you're getting headaches or fever or convulsions, all of those are signs of heat illness and you definitely would want to, um, to seek medical, medical attention. You can also start to become dehydrated and even your breathing can change. So those are a couple of other things to watch for as well. So who are the most uh, at risk? Of being affected a lot of us are mm -hmm. um, however the people who are mostly affected definitely are infants and young children they just can't communicate that well with us to say that they are getting hot or that they're getting thirsty so it's really really important to watch to watch those little ones uh, the other are the elderly or people who are may have a chronic disease um, heart disease kidney disease for example um, and if they're on certain medications, such as high blood pressure medication or kidney medication, you really want to talk to your doctor or your pharmacist because the heat can um, affect those medications and can cause health effects. And sometimes you burn quicker too. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah for absolutely. sure. Absolutely, with yeah. some of the medication. So yep, your, sure. your main messages are to keep cool and hydrated when it's hot outside. Can you expand a little bit more? Yeah, so we really want to avoid the blazing sun as much as possible. Um, and look for cool areas. So if you have a nice big shade tree in your in your yard that you could sit under to get out of that to get out of that intense sun, um, you know maybe you want to visit a splash pad. If you have little kids, they love that. But don't forget your sunscreen, right? Um, <laughs> of course. And also, you know, think of the clothing that you're wearing. Don't wear tight, constricted clothing. You want to lose wear loose, flowing clothing. A nice sun hat to keep the uh, the sun off. And if it's got a big brim on it, it can help create shade over you as well. Um, going into an air conditioned building really helps. And then of course, watch your pets and young children, please don't leave them in, in a car or in a, a, another area that where the, the heat may intensify. I'm glad you mentioned sunscreen. Yeah, yeah. yeah, sunscreen and bug spray. We really need yeah. that this time of year. Absolutely, for sure. yeah. For sure. Yeah, because we also have ticks and mosquitoes out too. That's so. right, too. That's yeah. right, too. So you want to avoid and, those. And I mean, as much as people, you know, enjoy that it's hot weather out, it, it, it takes a few weeks for us to even get acclimated yeah. to that. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. that's a really good point. So, you know, with those few intense heat days that we have, we aren't acclimated. So those heat illnesses can um, sneak up on us really quickly and we may not realize it. So you know, our body will acclimatize, um, but it does take time. Absolutely. And the one thing to watch for too is the dehydration. So, you know, take, and you don't want to guzzle the water um, just because, you know, you, you don't want to pee it out <laughs> right away. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that happens if you guzzle water. So you want to take frequent sips throughout the day. Um, to help keep your body hydrated. Right, right. And then people will notice too, you know, as much as you're, you're drinking, you're not going to the bathroom as much That's in the right. heat. That's right. So keep drinking, keep, keep drinking. drinking. That's yep. right. That's yep. right. When does uh, Environment Canada uh, issue an official heat warning? So they will issue an official heat warning and, and that is Im important to know. So it's Environment Canada that actually issues the heat warnings. Our role at the health unit is to put out the health messages when they do issue a heat warning, but they're the ones that will do that. And they will do that when the daytime temperatures are above 31 degrees Celsius, okay. and the nighttime temperature is above 20 
degrees Celsius. So when those two temperatures align um, and for two days in a row, then uh, Health or Environment Canada will issue a heat warning. Um, the other time that they will issue a heat warning is if we have a humidex above 40 degrees Celsius. Wow for two days so i mean we've we've had heat warnings issued because of both in the past so it's definitely possible um, and then obviously you know watch the local forecast even with the heat warning that we just had a, a week ago or so ottawa was in more of a heat warning well they were in a heat warning but they're a city they're the they have mm. a lot of con concrete that intensifies the heat we were not in that warning. It was still hot, but we didn't meet the threshold. So, you know, really check the Weather Network or um, Environment Canada. They have a fantastic um, app now that people can put on their phones. Um, just watch for the heat situation in our own area. That's right. That's right. It can happen close, mm -hmm. but it's not affecting that's right. us yet. Okay. Yep. All yep. right. Where can people get more information or, or where can people get more uh, information about the effects of heat? Obviously, our website, yes. uh, we have loads of really good information. We even have a page dedicated to hot and cold extreme temperatures. So please check that out. Our website address is healthunit.org. You could give us a call at 1-800-660-5853. Um, we have public health inspectors on a duty desk every day that can help answer questions if people have concerns or, or if they have their own questions. Um, and then, of course, we are constantly putting out messages on uh, social media, so Facebook and Twitter, so you can check us out at LGL Health Unit or on Instagram at lglhealthunit.z. All right, can I just put you on the spot for a second because sure. we mentioned it quickly there. We talked mosquitoes and ticks. I know yes. you've been here before too talking yes. about ticks. What do you do if you find a tick? Yes, so if you find a tick, please, well, let me put it this way. If you're out in the environment and it could be in a park, it could be in a nature trail, it could be at your cottage, it could be in your backyard, when you're coming in, check for ticks. Um, ticks, the, the bulk of uh, the ticks that we have in this area are the black-legged ticks, which are capable of um, spreading the, the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. So you, what you need to do is get that tick off really, really quickly. So if, you're, if you do find one that is attached to your skin, you can use tweezers um, and just gently pull the tick out or you can use a tick twister mm -hmm. um, again and you can gently pull the tick out. The key is to get that tick off right away mm -hmm. um, as soon as possible so that you can prevent diseases such as, such as Lyme disease. Excellent. So check yourself. Check yourself. Check yeah. Yourself. Every time you come in, check yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I mm -hmm. thank you very much for coming here and, and uh, educating us once again. <laughs> uh, I've got Kim McCann here. You are the Senior Public Health in, uh, Inspector for Leeds, Grenville and Lanark, our public uh, health units. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. You're welcome. Educating us and keeping us on top of things. <laughs> keeping us healthy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Take care.